All right, we're gonna investigate the quantifier negation law and do a little manipulation to actually prove the second form. One form of the quantifier negation law says that not there exists x p of x is equal to for all x not p of x. Okay, so that's one form of the law. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to derive the other form. The other form of the quantifier negation law says that not for all x p of x is equal to there exists x not p of x. Okay, so this is what we're going to assume is true, and we're going to derive this other form. So how can we do that? So let's go ahead and do a little computation. Let's start off by computing there exists an x not p of x. Okay, well that is equal to not not there exists x not p of x. So I've thrown just a double negation out front. So by the double negation law, we know that this is completely equivalent because not not is just not having anything there, so I haven't changed anything because they essentially cancel each other out. Okay. On this next step, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to bring one of the nots into my expression. Okay, so that's just regrouping things. That's totally fine. And now you can see what's going on here. Right now I have a not there exist x. So I'm going to go ahead and use my quantifier negation law that I'm assuming is true to write that as for all x not not p of x. So the form of the quantifier negation law that we're assuming is true says if you have something not there exists x and then a statement that is equal to for all x and then not of the statement. So here my statement is not p of x so I have to throw another not in front of it and I get not not p of x. So there I've used the first form of the quantifier negation law. This is equal to not for all x p of x just by the double negation law, right? This just goes away by the double negation law. Okay. And then this is just equal to, I can get rid of the parentheses, parentheses don't change anything, not for all x p of x. So look what I've done. I have started with, I've got, I've got what I needed to do. I started with the equation, there exists x not p of x, and I did very simple manipulations to result in not for all x p of x. And this is exactly what I was trying to establish. This was the other form of the quantifier negation law that I was trying to prove. This is actually an example of what we call a direct proof. We start with a quantity, we use manipulations to get it into another form that we're trying to establish. So really what we've done here is a direct proof, and we'll learn more about direct proofs later on in the class. For now, we have used a direct proof to establish the other form of the quantifier negation law, assuming that the first form is true.